Okay, guitar players, this one is for you. Um, we're going to talk briefly about the caged system. Um, we're going to upload a file onto the website, kind of a guide to uh, show you what we're talking about on paper, so to speak. So uh, look at that as well as uh, checking out the video. Um, you can kind of look at them simultaneously and hopefully that will help. Um, the caged system is just a method of piecing together um, ways to play a particular chord all the way up and down the neck. So say I want to play an F chord. As you probably are aware, there's more than just this first position to play the F chord. There's other positions to play it. There's other ways to play the F chord um, up and down the fretboard. Uh, so caged comes from um, shapes of chords. Now don't get confused as to um, shapes and forms of chords versus the chords themselves. Um, I'll try to explain. Caged uh, just is stands for um, the C form of a chord, the A form of a chord, the G form of a chord, and then the E and D. So hopefully you know all those chords. Very simple. C, A, G, E, and D. Okay, so uh, what happens is, is you can take those forms of a chord and play um, a particular chord up and down the neck in those forms. So let's just start simple. Let's just start with a C chord. So. When we think of a C chord, we play here in this first position, so C. That's our C chord, alright? But here's the thing, is you can play a C chord in the A shape. So this is our A shape, okay? It's an, this is an A chord, but this is the shape that we're looking for. So when we play a C chord in the A shape, we have this, okay? Um, so the next form and caged, C-A-G-E-D. Again, they're shapes of chords. We're still playing a C chord. Uh, C, A, and then G is the next shape. So that will be here at the 10th fret. We play a G normally like this. So think of that G shape. It's gonna move up here to the 10th fret. And because we don't have this nut helping us um, hold down some of the strings, we're gonna have to bar some of the strings and this one's kind of tricky, um, but it looks and sounds like this. So that's the G form of the C chord. Okay, so next shape we have C, A, G, E. E is the next shape. Still playing the C chord. Um, so we're here. This is the bar chord that you learn when you first play guitar. This is probably the first bar shape you learned. So this looks like an E chord. We play an E like this up here at the root position uh, or the first position, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it looks like this. If we move it down here and we play it at the 10th fret, it's a C chord. It's the E form of a C chord. Okay. So next we have D, C A G E D, and that's going to look like this if you just play the bottom or the top whatever you want to call it, the first three strings. Um, that's here. If you want to add this fourth note in there, it's kind of hard to play, but looks like that. I'm just playing the first four strings. And that's the D form of a C chord. Now the cool thing is it starts all over again. Um, once you get to the end, C, A, G, E, D, it starts over. So here we are again. We've already done our D shape, so the next one starts over as C. So if you kind of plumb and play it like that, or um, to kind of bar some of those strings or to make it sound more uniform, it starts over C. C chord, C shape. And then we have the C chord, A shape. So um, that's the cool thing about this. And then you can do that with any chord any major chord. Say you want to play a D. Well, the C form of the D chord is this. C form, D chord. And then you have the A form of the D chord. But they go in order. 
Caged, C-A-G-E-D. If you want to play a B chord, you can play the B chord in a C, A, G, E, or D shape. Um, this comes in really helpful for uh, lead playing. Say, let's say we're in the key of G, and you got a rhythm player. He's playing rhythm chords. Uh, you need to play some type of lead, um, and you're in the key of G. So you can play a D form, for example, of the G chord here, and you've got these. I just have some delay on. You can just do like a. Okay, so that's the D form of a G chord, but it's helpful to have different places to play. Um, so yeah, you're in you're in the key of G. If you play, obviously a G in the G form, you've got. Um, you can play kind of these strings. A lot of times in the type of worship music that we do, playing just the first couple of strings, um, playing high up stuff is helpful. So uh, you got this shape for the G. And then you've got that E form of the G chord. And another cool thing is that you don't have to play every string in the shape. You can kind of play, like I said, on just the first couple of strings. So I'm playing like an E shape of the G. So think about those shapes. Um, you can play those shapes all over the fretboard. It opens up a lot of possibilities. I hope this helps. Look at the uh, form, um, the write-up that we have on the web, and go back, look over the video. This might be hard at first, maybe easy, you may already know it but hopefully this helps out. Thanks a lot.